Hey guys, it's Postbox Pat. Welcome back to a brand new map change video on the version 15.20 update, which has just popped today. If you're new around here, tap the subscribe. Like always, 80% of you guys aren't subscribed. Let's try and gain a thousand subscribers today if you are new. And if you're a regular, comment down below, stay posted. As you guys know, you guys are staying posted every single update. So thank you so much. Just comment that down below so I can heart every single comment. Much love and respect. Okay, so coming in with the first map change, we have the one over at Coliseum. This is brand new with the Coliseum area now being revamped to a water theme. Now, there is a chance of this not spawning, by the way, in your games. You may have to play a few games to happen to get this kind of mechanic in here. But this really does change up the battlefield inside of here. Having the water mechanic definitely reduces build fighting, makes this area much more difficult to loot now as well, because it is quite open with the water, as well as where on earth is the boss that spawns in here, the NPC? I have no idea where he is right now. It looks like he's spawning up here, but why is this really strange? Like, why is he up here? Why is he not down there where he usually is in the battlefield? Obviously, he doesn't like swimming, but... It's it's really nice to see that this is going on with this area again the ships are new as well they've got a new new unique design should i say with the mechanics here on here with the kind of boxes as well as these ships over here the viking ship as well really nice viking ship type battlefield i have no idea what these doors are on the side i'm guessing these are for where they would let out like soldiers to fight or maybe animals back in the day that they would have in the arena so yeah pretty interesting to see this area in the coliseum area i think it's quite nice and in a unique area so come and check it out and it might not spawn every time for you guys but let me know in the comments if you have seen it for yourselves over at this section but that's what we have over at the coliseum section now the next map change we've got for you guys is actually rotating over to stealthy strongholds don't forget to support me further it takes less than three seconds to enter in code postbox pack to your item shop head over to your item shop right now or your epic game store and pop in code postbox pack much love and respect here are a bunch of shouts to those doing this head over to my discord and let me know if you've supported me i'll add you in in future content for a shout out thank you everyone considering to support me much love and respect i'm a hashtag epic games partner another one of people's favorites and one of my favorite spots to land this season and this does have another brand new map change for us all in the world of fortnite so let's go inside of here and show you guys exactly what we have in here so this is a really interesting one as you come into stealthy you'll notice if you go through here this direction you'll see something strange over in the distance over there so let's head over to it and see exactly what this is so this is a strange kind of metal style structure it looks like a ship does anyone know who this reference is to and it's the predator so this is the predator's ship which is landed in you can see this comes with a few unique engines as well on the back as well as this top piece here can be mined away to reveal a chest sometimes and also the chair that he would have sat in so it's really nice to see that this is a unique area and a unique kind of alien spot and something we've never really seen from a different planet land in well we have kind of with mando's ship but it's nice to see that he's got his ship here now as well imagine a battle between this the alien ship and the razor oh, that'd be so awesome to see them battle it out but yeah this is where it's located it also plays a weird audio sound which i want you guys to check out for yourselves so i don't want to spoil everything so when you're in game come over here come and land over here and listen to the sound of the predator it's quite scary and watch out he might just be around and he might get you uh, he's not in the game just yet but he is going to be possibly the secret skin this season and the reason for that is is because of these on screen right now so these are what we're going to be getting with the brand new items should i say in that secret section which you can see right here so we've got a spray and we've also got a kind of like emblem wrapped style i guess not a wrap but an emblem which we might get a wrap probably to be honest so yeah really nice stuff there on that side of stuff so let's explore a little bit further and go over what else we've had on the map change side of stuff so the majority of the map i have been over already and i can't really notice much difference on this side of the map other than kind of like little changes with the christmas decorations being removed we'll just quickly show you guys that just so we can confirm that but we do know we have mandalorian's new area over here which i showed off in my last map change video it's like a mini one if you guys saw it in my recent update video you would have seen that we talked about that change we also had the christmas tree now being removed from here and this includes all of the other christmas trees at all the other spots as well i'll just quickly show you guys while we're over here go over to the holly hedges area you can see the christmas tree has been removed in this section right here so really really nice stuff anyway let's take our drone over and head over to the location located over on this side of the map because there's been a few changes over here which i want to quickly go over and kind of dive into so you guys can see so there are going to be new connections to the zero point taking place there has been two more found in the files so our friend over there at zero point he goes a little bit blurry glitch there but you can see we've got a zero point here he's got two connections currently and there's going to be two more coming up if you want my honest prediction what these are going to be i believe it will be a tomb raider skin uh, and i also think the other one will be maybe the predator or something else we don't 100 know but 
but we'll keep our eyes peeled on that. So, first off, what's the first thing you notice? Well, the decorations have gone and the snow. The snow is officially gone. There is no longer any snow in this section at all. It has all been removed and there are, the only snow that does remain is the ones on the peak of the mountain. So, really nice to see that that has happened in this section of the map. As well as not just the snow has been removed, some of our favourite vehicles have also been taken out of the game. And that's over at Snowmando's Outpost with the removal of the actual planes. So Snowmando's Outpost still managed to stay here. Obviously this is because this is where he spawns and there are still Christmas decorations to remember this year's festive season. I wonder if these are going to get taken down. Like oh, These are never going to get taken down. You know when you leave your Christmas decorations up too long, it's like bad luck to take them down. It's only a myth, but you know, maybe this area over here will actually have to stay now forever. I think that would be cool until next Christmas. But yeah, he spawns still over. He doesn't exactly spawn at the he does spawn up here, doesn't he? It's this, is it this mountain he spawns at? I always get confused where he spawns, but he spawns around here somewhere. So, yeah, you can get Snowmando around here, and obviously you've got a few other spaces as well where you can visit. So, yeah, really nice to see that as well. But while we're over here, we may as well check out the, uh, the little restaurant which we've got down here now, the coffee shop, as I like to call it. So we've got our Big Shots coffee shop, and this has had a few little changes to it, nothing too major. You can see we've got a few more kind of additional cups added in, a few more additional kind of like areas, not really much at all, really. A nice little area to cook in for those that haven't seen this recently. Some kind of like bookshelves as well where you can pick up a few books. Anything interesting on here that looks like it's going to catch our eye? Looks like Midas's hand a little bit. What's that down there, the bottom one? Oh, that's a, that looks a bit strange. What's that? I don't know. I don't know what that is. It, it, at first, I thought that might have been Galactus or something, but I don't see anything major on here, personally. I don't think there's any massive, massive books here that are going to give us a huge insight to any of the story. Let's just check around the back just in case. You know, this is a new section, so you don't really see these prefabs very often. I think these are almost the same. So yeah, there we have it. We've obviously got some magazines in here as well, and just in general, a really nice area to come land. It's a reference back to the Paradise Palms, uh, the, all the sort of say outside the Paradise Palms, the shop outside of there, the chair store, kind of the same sort of spot on the map. The next little map change I just thought I'd give an honorable mention before we jump into our last one was over here at the Redacted Bunker. This is actually the same spot that Kevin spawned in in Paradise Palms, just slightly adjusted, almost exactly the same spot. So the question is for the comment section down below, is Kevin inside of this bunker, which is still not being opened up now for almost over a year? Very long time and a huge, huge one. Now the final map change I've got for you guys is a mega one for the storyline and we will expand further on this in a future storyline video. And I've just covered this in my second channel video on the Buy Post channel. If you haven't checked that out yet, I go over all the new weapons, all the new exotic locations, and all the new bosses. You can check that out. But I thought I'd put this in today's video because it's a very special one. It isn't exactly a map change, but it's pretty big for the storyline and a big boss change. So inside of this area over here in the dam, we have a brand new change for the actual boss himself, Ruckus. So let's check this out right now. Okay, so you can see that I'm now taking on Ruckus inside of here. And this is what's really interesting. So what you've got to do is you've got to eliminate Ruckus. And when you do eliminate him, you do get access to something really unique. So let me show you guys that right now. So you can see here, I'm taking down Ruckus. When he gets eliminated, check this out, guys. This is kind of a map change, storyline content. And this is it right now. Ready? Watch this. And he's back. Yes, Ruckus respawns. This is storyline related, big, big storyline related. So you can talk to him and he explains a little bit about this. He's really confused himself, as you can see, and you've changed and you ask him that question. You can see he has a few items to buy and it says, first I'm eliminated, now I'm glowy. What gives, question mark? And this is really interesting. It's talking about the respawn system in Fortnite. The glow, it's weird though, right? And it's like, it's really weird, it's really strange. No, I don't think so. Don't feel spooky enough. It's really confusing. And you can continue to talk to him and go over all this. And he says, anyway, I wouldn't hang around if I was you, get out of here, etc." You can just ask him all these questions. And he just kind of goes through the basic stuff of, ha, ah, probably not. I never seen anything like this before. He's like really confused. And the way he's talking as well, is really glitched out. It's like he is completely glitched. Next time, let's uh, get you, we'll find out. He's That's asking, should I become like this? So there's Lot of different questions and stuff we'll break all this down in the storyline video but this is really starting to get an insight into that reboot system and what happens after you're eliminated and inside the loop etc 
And the best question on here, in my opinion, was the one where you ask about, like, is there any better loot? And he's like, nah, don't be so rude. It's just so funny. It's such an awesome one. And yeah, come and talk to him, guys. Check this out. Come and do it. Uh, check it out for yourselves. I don't want to break it down and spoil everything for you guys. So yeah, come over here. Check it out when you're about. And it's a really nice spot to come and see for a map change. Anyway, that's it for today's video. If you are new, like always, tap that subscribe button. And if you made it right to the very end, comment down below the cube to let me know if you made it right to the very end of today's map change video. I'll be in as many comments as I can so feel free to leave a comment down below a like and a subscribe is always appreciated much love and respect code postbox pack in the item shop if you want to go and support me further it really does help out and go a long way and help support the channel so thank you everyone considering to do that and once again this is postbox pat signing out